guys double wide six and currently I'm working on a little project I'm building a, I think it's a 1 by 42 inch belt sander and I have a motor for it and this came from an old scroll saw that was broken a Delta and it's just a induction motor AC and what I need to do is reverse this thing because it's it's running the uh, wrong direction and I, I need it to run the other direction and this thing is not really meant to be reversed so um, I'm gonna see if I can reverse it okay so here's what we have um, in here you have two coils one of them's your run coil the other one's your starting coil and your starting coil is gonna be thinner so if you took an ohm meter, because it's thinner, it would have more resistance if you checked out your starting coil than the run coil. So I can see here that, you know, there's definitely uh, thinner wires coming up here. Okay, there's, there's one here going to the black wire, and there's another one of these thin wires going to this gray wire. So on most motors, if you reverse the starting windings, um, that should reverse the direction. So what I'm going to do, this, this thing has like this heat shrink on here. I'm going to try and heat this up and take it apart, reverse that winding, and then we'll solder it up and see if it works. Hopefully we don't blow up the motor. We'll find out though. So I was able to slide off some of the heat shrink and to do that I'm using my very small heat gun I got one of those uh, built-in soldering and heat gun stations and just trying to warm this up so that I can work this shrink wrap off Alright, so what I need to do is switch the, the winding wire, the thin one that goes to the white with the thin one that goes to the black. So I'm just going to snip the top of this, try and slip that off. So that one's going to go to the black. And then there's two windings, there's a thicker one in the back and a much thicker thinner one up here I'm trying to keep it as long as I can okay I got one soldered the other one I'm soldering I found out that this stuff on top is a glue it's not solder so I was trying to heat it up and melt it but that wasn't working okay I'm just uh, in the process of putting some heat shrink tubing on this thing so we'll slip this over shrink it down and then we got to secure these wires they were kind of like tied back in with like wire ties alright guys so I had an arrow on here that I made yellow so you could see it it was turning this way before we started here we reversed those windings and here you go spinning the other way now um, the only concern I have is that it's a little bit louder I believe than it was and I think it 
it's just the way I put it back together. Maybe this housing, something's not quite set right. I see there's actually a loose screw here. I didn't have this off. But, uh, yeah, I think this motor's going to work all right. Um, but I'm, I'm probably going to pull it off and put it back together, make sure the thing um, sounds a little quieter. Let me try it again. Seems good. I think a lot of that vibration's actually might be coming from the, the bench. I don't know. I think the case is loose. I took the cover off the capacitor, and the capacitor was just in there kind of rattling around. So I took uh, some of this orange tape and just kind of wrapped it up and, and secured it in there. And that stopped rattling. So it seems to be pretty good. I also put a little bit of... Uh, some bearing lubricant on these bearings and uh, looks like it's going to be a, a good motor for me. Alright guys, I'm Double Wide 6. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Nothing too exciting here, but uh, hey, you may have learned something. Alright guys, take care. Thanks for watching.